So here we are at the Seattle Go Center. That sign has some significantly more wear than I remember. And let me flip the camera around. And I don't think I've played a game of Go like in li in real life in person in well, I think since the start of the pandemic. So we're talking about 15 months. And over that time, my relationship to Go has changed pretty pretty dramatically. I would say between my class and the amount of socializing I was doing through Go was a pretty significant part of my life prior to the pandemic, for sure. And during the pandemic, that all kind of stopped. I didn't really teach, you know, anybody in person. Uh, I did do some online lessons, but those are not the same. Certainly not the same as teaching a full class. Playing Go online is fun. You know, I did a fair bit of that. But definitely different. And it's strange to actually come back to the Seattle Go Center today. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not actually quite sure how I'm feeling about it. I really expected no one to be here. I'm already seeing a parking lot that's pretty full of cars. So, and I see Larry just pulling up right there. There's Larry's in his truck. I'm not sure how he's trying to back into this because that truck is not going to fit there. He'll figure that out soon. Um, so, like, like there's going to be people inside, which is already kind of mind-blowing to me. I was really expecting to come back here and and for it to be pretty desolate. Um, so I guess I... I, <laughs> I don't know. Well, here, we'll go inside. We'll, we'll check it out. But um, this is like one of those things, I think, to me, that means that <laughs> uh, the pandemic is over, which is, which is a very strange thing to say, and I understand that's not the case around the world and in your own location. This is in Seattle. Driving here on the news, they just listed Seattle as, as having a 70% vaccination rate within the county. And, you know, the numbers are dropping dramatically each week. Uh, and for the most part, the only people that are hospitalized are people who haven't vaccinated or been able to vaccinate. Um, but yeah, this is, this is much more, much more surreal of an experience than I thought it would be. So, here, let's go inside. Yeah, and I'm in this little storage room on the first floor, so this is really not a good backdrop. But uh, yeah, I think we had maybe close to 20 people there come through all together. Maybe definitely at least at least a dozen, probably about 15. And uh, again, I didn't see everyone who walked in and out of the door, but yeah, I had a really great turnout at the Seattle Go Center. So uh, it was really invigorating. And I, I don't think I played a serious game. I played two games. I played a teaching game against uh, an 8Q who was relatively new and was progressing really quickly. And I played against one of the sort of longtime Go Center members, uh, Solomon, who I think is five done. But neither of us have actually played like a serious game in a long time, and he had to go early. So uh, we tried to rush through it. And I did lose quite valiantly. <laughs> it was one of those really dumb games where you just chase dragons and do all sorts of stupid shit on the board. Uh, which was great fun, uh, but yeah, this was uh, my my go has changed, and I'm not I'm not I can't say it's changed for the better yet. Uh, but I think I think the whole point of this video is just to remind everyone that playing Go in person is a is a hugely different experience than playing online. And I know a lot of you who are watching this learned to play Go during the pandemic and primarily learned to play it on the computer, and that's great. Like keep doing that. That's awesome. But. And, and, and I say this from the point of view of an introvert, because at heart I am an introvert. I, I think I'm a, I'm a trained introvert uh, in, in, in the sense of in the sense of my social skills, or at least at least outgoing nature. Uh, there there isn't anything like 
you know, meeting up with a community of like, of like folk, right? Something that you all share a passion with. And as best as we've tried to cope with that during the pandemic and as, as good as we've done it using technology with, with Zoom meetups and with all the different Go servers and with YouTube and all those things, being in a community of people at its heart really is best best in person. Like I don't I don't think there's a substitute for that. And I think everyone knows that. And I think everyone's depressed and sad about that. And I think everyone is slowly figuring that out. Uh, and I think we're still mourning that. Like I think I think like even though even though there was a lot of people there and everyone was having a good time and everyone was really excited and I saw some old faces I hadn't seen for years come out. Like like not just stop going to the ghost center, but stop going to the ghost or during stop going to the ghost center in the pan pandemic but stopped going to the ghost center for years prior they came out like there were some people who come out who, who came out for this and so there is this grieving process and so even though even though there was the people it wasn't it wasn't like this a joyous party feeling everyone's still masked everyone is still a little bit like oh hey how how's it going oh my go is in the toilet um you know there wasn't this this group um, exhalation. Like, I still felt like everyone was holding their breath. And that's okay. And I, I think that's the moral story. I think we're going to be there for a while, and I think that's okay. Uh, I know in all of your lives, and all of your hobbies, and all of your interests, uh, we're still suffering, right, across the board. I don't, I don't think anyone can say that we're not as good as the numbers are, as good as COVID is. Uh, I know everyone wants to stop talking about COVID. I know everyone wants to move on with their lives. But, you know, just like how uh, when you breathe in and you start to exhale, it actually takes some time to exhale. And I think that's what I felt tonight. I think I felt like we're in this exhaling process. And it's funny that, you know, for me, go is this very physical thing that I feel inside me. And for me to interpret, like, the world also through this other physical reaction of, like, exhalation... Uh, is very, I don't know, very poetic in a in a melancholic way. So anyway, this whole video is going to be more about. Initially, I wanted to be more about how my go has changed and how and what I think of go now, and it and it really isn't. Like this is a pretty short video. I think that it's core. It's about people, and I just want to reaffirm everyone the value of playing with people in person, sitting and drinking a cup of tea at a board facing another human being. Uh, really reminds you that you know at least the the. The Japanese nickname for Go, right, is hand talk. It is it is a form of communication. It is a form of existing within a community. And so don't don't forget that. I'll see you next time. <laughs>